welcome to another video and uh, this video I'm gonna have to say guys if you have never heard of it I am sorry but this is full of spoilers but um, I'd say check it out anyways maybe it might inspire you guys to want to pick it up if you see it somewhere else maybe look for it online somewhere um, I didn't mind the film I'm probably gonna do a movie movie review on this and um, hope you guys enjoyed this. All right, here it is. Take care, guys. Oh. I thought you were the killer. Hell no, I just came to get you so we could start filming behind the scenes. Where are we going? To the lake. Yeah, it's rolling right now. Well, here we are. We're back at sleepaway camp. Yep. And there's Angela. Ah! <laughs> back where she belongs. 21 years later. This Imagine is that. pretty intense. Being back on camp. Camping. Sleepaway camp. <laughs> it's fun. It's really exciting. It's great to see Robert behind the camera again. It's funny. He actually can direct. I saw that. Ah, Robert. So here's an establishing shot of the area where we filmed the movie. Right here is Hancock, New York. A beautifully scenic place full of mountains and rivers, and it's right on the border of Starlight, Pennsylvania, which is where the camp was located. And this right here is our first day of shooting. The man in red, that's the one and only Robert Hiltzik, the creator, writer, director of Sleepaway Camp. Parker! Action! After he thought that line, then you sit down. Be quiet. As you sit down, that's when you say the line. what it was like being directed by the one and only Robert Hiltzik. Great. He's a great guy. He's such a wacky character. I love him for it. Robert is a really sick man. He, uh, he's got some sick ideas and he's put them to work and it, uh, looks good. There's something really eerie about this camp and I don't know if anyone else said that yet, but the, the lake itself is very, very sleepwake campish. Very reminiscent of the first movie. Thank you. 
And right here is where Felissa is transformed into Sheriff Jerry. The process took about four hours each time makeup artist Mike Marino and his crew turned Felissa into this freaky little man. Tonight's my first night as Sheriff Jerry. Angela returns to the big screen. Can I just spit on you? <laughs> This night was particularly fun, and the scene we shot here is one of my favorites in the movie. Vincent Pastor kept cracking up when he had to do conversation scenes with Sheriff Jerry, a.k.a. Felissa Rose in disguise. We had all sorts of local firemen, ambulance medics, and extras on the set this night. <laughs> Here we go again. What does that mean? Every time something happens around here, he thinks he's back in Camp Arawak. Arawak? Wasn't that the place where... Oh, fuck. <laughs> what? God. <laughs> no, we gotta get through this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not my fault. You can't blame me. Can't... I said I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Isn't that where that kid went on a killing spree? That's the place. Ruined the camp business for years. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is, this is, ruined the camp business for years. That's what uh, Ronnie was the head thing. What happened? Cut. Uh, <laughs> what? We gotta get through this, man. <laughs> the fuck? 18. Mike on his face. I'm out of time. I'm a fucking moron. It's making me fucking laugh. Don't fucking think towards that. I'm not looking at you. I can't look at you. I'm coming off. I covered that big fuck in the last night. Hey! 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 Hey!
It's my turn. Don't worry, kids, I'll make it brief so you can all get back to this. Door. 
is Angela and Darren Miller from CKY. He's going to tell us all about his uh, little CD that he made with Angela's face on it. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. I'll make the That I didn't want anyone to find out about because I was afraid that I might get in some trouble. But... Why? So I know you guys would love it. We love it. There is... <laughs> No, it's all good. Don't ever feel that way. Oh, I know. I'm I know. so. No, well, it was yeah, an I honor. I Robert, was like, I think Robert said something to you. He said it was all right. Maybe yeah. two years ago or something. Yeah. But I made these CDs for the band in '99. We did 2,000 copies for the Warp Tour, and we didn't have a cover for the CD. So I figured, what would be better than pausing her face at the end of the first Sleepaway Camp? Taking a, I took a picture off the TV screen, and we we printed them up right on the CD, and kids loved them, and everyone was like, where's that picture from? That thing looks sick. Uh, that thing looks sick. They should have the seen the lower part can't. of my body. It was <laughs> even more disturbing. How did they do that? I'm even with candy bar. Or what you call it? Or what you call it? These days, it's a slim fast. <laughs> but it's really good. And now we're going to meet a character in this flip. And his name is Ryan. Well, his, his name is Bry Cooper. Sheriff Jerry. Actually, my real name is it's Benny, Benny Morowitz. And this is Sheriff Jerry. Jerry. We go way, way back. We're Sheriff, Benny way and back Jerry. Benny and Jerry. That's where you actually We're our comedy team. <laughs> this is Return to Sleepaway Camp. This is Return to Sleepaway yeah. Camp? I'm supposed to be on another set. Oh, well, fuck. Yeah, back to New York. Let's move. Oh, man. 
it's just some really good brown. <laughs> now you light it, you take some small. Walk the dog. Yeah. to make a dedication to the legendary Isaac Hayes, who passed away on August 10th, 2008. I have such fond memories of him on the set. What a talent this man was. Not only was he a legendary singer-songwriter, but just a wonderful actor as well. I remember one night we talked about how he worked with the late, great Donald Pleasance on John Carpenter's Escape from New York. And I told him how I loved the scene where his character made Donald say that the Duke of New York was A number one. And he was telling me how he just couldn't stop laughing while Donald was shouting those lines with his English accent. As he recalled this night of shooting from way back in 1981, I remember how exuberant and passionate he was talking about making that movie. Isaac Hayes was a man who poured his passion into everything he did, including playing the role of Sleepaway Camp's chef, Charlie. Isaac was a joy to have on the set. He was a genuine professional and a wonderful talent. And I know that everybody who worked with him on this movie will always be fond of the time we shared with him. His talented spirit lives on. Just make sure you take care of this guy. I said I'm doing all right. I'm 
Angela. Finally. For those fans of the original Sleepaway Camp who are wondering, yes, that is a real mustache this time. You got it right on. <laughs> These dummy heads here were injected with fake blood for the movie's final gruesome scene. Here's the location, and um, this is my most exciting day. I finally get to be angel and do some crazy shit. Like How does it feel to finally play a role out of makeup? Oh, it feels so good to be out of Sheriff Cherry. Um, I love how chameleon-like she is, you know, where she can just put on all these different outfits and play these different characters to manipulate everybody. She's smart. So do we not need to stay here anymore then? Yeah, we got a runaway production out here on Mill Road and some crazy lady and a whacked out director. You better send the SWAT team. up with an interesting little piece of trivia that you may or may not have known. Guess who survived the boating accident? The real Angela. And we'll leave you with... 